Good morning. So welcome to 16 days in Mark's Gospel and chapter one that we're looking at today. Before we jump into chapter one, let me say a brief word about what's going on behind me and the structure of Mark's Gospel. Mark's Gospel has been put into six different sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each of those sections Mark has written with a particular structure. So if you take a look, a like, look at section number two here, there's this big block of teaching in the middle of each section and there's a particular form and structure to that block of teaching every single time it comes up and then before that block of teaching and after it there's an introduction and a conclusion and what Mark says in the introduction and in the conclusion is linked to one another and then in front and behind of those six big blocks of teaching there is an introduction to the whole book and there is a conclusion to the whole book. And actually what Mark does with the conclusion is something that's really interesting. We'll get there in 16 days time. But let's have a look at chapter one of Mark's gospel and see what Mark does with his introduction. If you've read it yet this morning, then you'll have seen that the introduction to Mark's gospel is all about what different people say about Jesus. First of all, Mark starts off by saying what he thinks about Jesus. It's Mark's witness to who Jesus is. And then he talks about what the Old Testament prophets say about Jesus. Then John the Baptist is introduced and Mark says how John the Baptist is like an Old Testament prophet. And then we see what John the Baptist says about Jesus. The introduction to Mark's gospel is saying, look, here is what Mark thinks about Jesus. Here is what the Old Testament prophets think about Jesus. Here is what John the Baptist thinks about Jesus. This book is an opportunity for you to decide what you think about Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to put Jesus in your perspective. And then we jump into section one and the first kind of main section of Mark's gospel. Jesus is baptised, he proclaims the gospel, he calls his first disciples and then we see a kind of window into the beginning of Jesus' ministry. He drives out an evil spirit, he heals people, he talks about his priority of teaching and what he wants to say. I don't know what struck you or what's going to strike you when you read the first chapter of Mark's gospel. One of the things that I always notice in the first chapter of Mark's gospel is how Jesus has two things to say about what he has come to do. Early on, he says, the time has come, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the good news. And then towards the end of the chapter, he says, I can't stay where I am. I have come to tell more people further afield about this coming kingdom. Jesus wants us to know that he has come to bring God's kingdom. And when you read Mark's gospel, you see that kingdom is wild. The sick are healed. Evil spirits are cast out. People hear teaching like nothing they have ever heard before. The Old Testament prophets are fulfilled and people are astonished. I hope you are astonished by Jesus. I hope you've enjoyed the first chapter of Mark's Gospel. See you tomorrow for chapter two.